Yuzi plays fight prediction. Ben Whitaker versus Liam Cameron on the undercard of Bertabeev on Saturday. This is going to rock. This is the last one I got round to. Listen, we can all go flash. Now, I know you can't take me seriously right now because I'm dressed like I'm going to Alaska or something, but who cares? Let's do it. Who's going to win this fight? Okay, let's break it down. Liam Cameron is very tough and sturdy. I watched his fight against Lyndon Arthur. Now, I will say a lot of people think he won and he was out from prison and he fought and um, it was a, after a long layoff. Listen, I think with that, sometimes exceeding expectations doesn't necessarily mean you win the fight going on the back foot. But I think he did take a few rounds. However, I do think Lyndon Arthur caught him with some good shots towards the end of the rounds and was pushing the pace and was utilising the jab and Cameron was just sort of moving back a bit. But if you want to give him the fight and say he won on a split, listen, it's too late because he's lost but um, on decision, but... Now he's going up against Ben Whitaker. Now there is a massive, massive hint in the face-off where Ben Whitaker missed all the flash. Listen, if you got two, you might as well go back to 2001. So, yeah. It gets a bit tight after a while. So, yeah. The huge hint in the fight was... I'm going to be diligent. That was exactly what Ben Whitaker said in the interview. He said, I'm going to be diligent. All this flash, all this bravado. It's getting a call, there you go. All this flash, all this bravado means nothing. I'm going to stay diligent. And it's just part of, you know, what I do to have fun and blah, blah, blah. And that is, like, evident in this fight. Um... He's got, just got a message right. Bloody, every time you're trying to do a video and someone calls you, hey, right. I'll call him back later. Anyway, yeah. So, oh God, I've lost my trade of thought. No, I haven't, right. Business as usual. We don't need to edit. Diligence. Due diligence. And um, Whitaker said he's going to be diligent. And that was key because... Cameron said, I've never fought a gold medalist. I've never fought anyone from like the Olympics or the this background. And now you're going to find out what it's about when you actually are doing. And I'm not talking smack. I'm just saying my personal opinion is he's gone, had a tough fight with Lyndon Arthur and he exceeded expectations and survived. This time out, I think he's going to fall short because he won't be able to step back against Whitaker too much because of the reflexes, the footwork. Whitaker will try and frustrate him. And he could walk on to one Whitaker. And he's not going to bite, just bulldoze this guy. This guy's strong, he's durable. But if we're being honest, I just think that Ben Whitaker has all the sharpness and he is diligent and he does train. And as much as you say he's flashy, he packs power and he packs vicious sharpness and he packs reflexes, timing. He's got the lot. And this guy's going to push him, but I don't think he's got enough going back with the head movement and things like that to see this out. I think that Ben Whitaker wins this in... I think it could be a 12. It could go over 12 because it's durable. He's never been put down, Liam Cameron. So he's, I'm not saying, like, you know, he's just a come forward. It can stay. I just think... This is different. He's not Ben Whitaker's not just going to set up with a jab. It's going to be dum -dum 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 -dum, and you're not going to see anything coming. I'm going to go around eight. I think Ben Whitaker may stop him. Um, although no one's ever stopped him. He's tough. He's sturdy. He's going to take him as far as he can go. But at some point, he's going to have to walk on to Whitaker. Is he going to go and take a fight? We'll see. Let's take this off. Let's get him war back. Or will the flash be too flashy? I mean, I'm too flashy for my own good today. It's wearing me out, but... I just wanted to show we can all play this game. We can all go play her, you know what I'm saying? But, um... <laughs> I'm going with Ben Whitaker. I'm going with Ben Whitaker. I'm not just because of the show-off style. It's nothing to do with that. It's just for the fact that I just think... I don't know how much 
Liam Cameron has to offer coming off a split with Lyndon Arthur. Um, he did eat some. He had a few in the first round, actually. And I thought, if that's Whitaker, yeah, you're not going to eat too many of those. In fact, I might have to go earlier. I might have to go earlier. It seems on paper like he's going to weather the storm. You, he's gone from a split with Lyndon Arthur to Ben Whitaker. Whitaker needs them long rounds as well. He's had one, I think. So, you know, this isn't always set in stone, but it's easy to pick the favourite and the flashy fighter. And it's easy to, you know, not take me seriously right now because how can you take a guy seriously who's won three bomber jackets with a hat? But that's all part of the bravado, man. That's just part of the fun. I'm being serious now. Um, but I'll keep the arm. Look like right, cool. Yeah. Ben Whitaker wins. Ben Whitaker wins. I just thought I'd have fun with it today instead of going too serious. So I think Ben Whitaker wins in round. It might not even be eight. It might actually be earlier because you have to take into consideration the fight before. You always do the training. You can come ready. I think that Liam Cameron's going to be sort of not wanting to give much away. He's going to take punches, but the body's going to be there to get it. The arms are going to be rigid. You're going to try and come back, and then Ben Whitaker's going to be all there doing the bleeding howl and shuffle or something and the moonwalk, and he's going to do some, like, I'm waiting for him to do a moonwalk and then a punch, like an uppercut doing the moonwalk. That's going to be great. I might go backwards. Ben Whitaker wins, but not an easy fight. Like I don't, I want to say not an easy fight because I'm trying to sell it. But uh, yeah, it's a 50-50. It's, it's not a 50-50, guys. Just realistically, without mocking um, any fighter that steps in there, he's good. Whitaker's showed him respect. He's done well against Lyndon Arthur. He's a tough customer. He's from Yorkshire. What do you expect? He's hard. He showed that against Lyndon Arthur. You could have actually given him the fight. So all pissing about side. I think that Ben Whitaker wins. I just think it's the pedigree, it's the amateur record. When you combine it all, unless he does an Adrian Broner against Maidana and starts to really take him lightly, nah, he's, he's serious. Don't let all this fool you. He's serious. And he's going to win. And I think it, it could even be before round eight um, because you're coming off a close fight Sometimes you're fighting someone. They wouldn't have matched it this quick. They wouldn't have matched it this quick if, like, coming off a tough fight and to say, right now you've got a shot, even though you lost, on a decision to weaker. Could have given half of that shot. So it tells me that they know it's a good... I hate to say spar or work out. <sighs> But a stay busy fight for Ben Whitaker and not the close contested fight that everyone's thinking. Peace. Tell me what you think. Is it going to be closer than you thought? I've had back issues, so I'm trying to stay stay up straight. Um, guys, it sucks. Really got to alter my posture on my back. So, yeah, we got a long road. Anyway, guys, get back to me. Tell me what you think is... Ben Whitaker going to win this with ease? Is he going to win this? Or do you see an upset from Liam Cameron, which would be a huge upset, to be fair? In your comments, Ben Whitaker for the stoppage for me, guys. Kale, I think he's actually going to knock him out. That's as what I see. Six or eight. Peace. Comments in. Bye.